to all of you that are joining us by audio video, we uh -huh. just want to welcome you. Amen. Amen. And uh, we encourage you. Church Alive is worth the drive. Yes. Church Alive is worth tuning in. Amen. Yes. Amen. Church Alive is worth the walk. Praise and God. If you walked here or drove here, whatever. But we teach the word of God. Amen. Amen. The word of God sets you free. So praise God. He's got something for you. So receive it. Amen. Amen. That's a key thing. You, you need to receive it. you got something to do about this. Amen. So happy Sunday morning to you. Y bienvenidos a la iglesia de nuevo comienzo a todos los que nos están escuchando ahorita. Bienvenidos y les encargo que reciban. Reciban, amén. Let's get our Bibles. Amen. Amen. Get your swords. Yes. Now, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit, my spirit is receptive, receptive and, and I'll never be the same. same. Amen. Yes. I don't want to be the same. That's right. I want to change, and you got to change yes. from glory to glory to glory. Yes. Praise yes. God. You know what? We're maturing, and that's good. It's a good thing. Yes. We're maturing. You know, when you send your children to first grade, you don't want them to stay there the whole time. No. <laughs> you want them to grow. Amen. Amen. And it's going to mature from great to great to great. But you know what? This is what I've heard, and I'm going to share it with you. Mm -hmm. New levels, new devils. Yeah. All right, so Amen. you're growing in the things of God because you need all the equipment that you have because right. the enemy is busy. Oh, yeah. Amen. So we've For heard sure. this so many times. Part-time Christian. No match. It's no match for a full-time full right. Amen. Yeah. He is consistent. Yes. And he is persistent. Yes, And he, he is. is always there. And you know what feeds him? Huh. You know what motivates him? Mm -hmm. Every time you speak. Mm-hmm. He either stays away oh, yeah. or he comes in. Uh -huh. You either shut the door or you open the door mm. by the words you speak. Yeah. And whatever your handouts, if you look at one of your handouts there, yes. Uh, look at one of your handouts. Uh -huh. What does it say? Sin. No, no, not yet. Oh. What, whatever whatever oh. we speak words, whenever we speak words uh -huh. out, either good or bad, we are giving life to whatever we're saying. Mm. And the scripture, I just gave you a scripture. We're familiar with this scripture. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yeah. And those who love it and indulge in it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of their words. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So the enemy is going around following you. Uh -huh. And hopefully you're not a leaky Christian. Oh, my and goodness. you're not leaking out oh, the boy. bad words yeah. or the negative words, but uh -huh. you're leaking out, you're letting out the right words. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, he's going to say, I don't want to follow that person anymore. That's right. You know, I'm tired of getting beat up. Uh -huh. And then, <laughs> that's what we're supposed to do is beat them. Be him up. Amen. Well, Jesus did it. We're just confessing his word. Yes. Jesus did it all. Yes, he did. But now we need to also correct the way we talk yes. and speak the way the word of God tells us to speak. Yes. If we're not doing that, we're walking in defeat. And the enemy's coming in and you wonder why I'm having these problems. Uh -huh. Well, you need to change the way we talk. Amen. Yeah. It's, it's not hard. <laughs> we quoted this last week and uh, me and Pastor Pat didn't do a real good job. <laughs> So I wrote it down. I have a slide for you in a few minutes. But your other handout goes like this. It says sin yeah. will take you further than you want to go. Yes. And I have the words in bold and underlined. Mm -hmm. Keep you longer mm -hmm. than you want to stay yeah. and cost you more mm -hmm. than you want to pay. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. This, is, uh, this, this is good. So stay away. <laughs> yes. And the last one handout that you have. Um, is make a difference today. Bless someone with words of love, encouragement, and hope. Yeah. Big. We're talking about speaking here. We're talking about sowing the right words. Amen. Mm. Sow kingdom seed, seeds, words that produce kingdom fruit. Mm -hmm. You know, don't just go around confessing the wrong things or seeing the wrong in people and confessing the wrong things about them. Why not listen to what God wants you to share and confess the word of God in them? Amen? So, that's a good little, you know, the word yeah. of God is going to encourage us. Yeah. It's going to yes. change us. Well, it's going to convict us. Yeah. If we need to improve in something, 
He wants us to. Amen. Which he says we, he's the potter with the clay. And we sit in at he sits, he's still working on us. So whatever he still needs to work on us, fine tune on us, yes. he's gonna do it, amen. Amen. But we gotta sit there and we gotta let Father do whatever he has to do with us. Yes. And he's gonna mold us right and shape us right. Yeah. And uh correct it. Amen. Yeah. So you know, all of us can use correction and we're learners from the time. We receive them from the time we hear yeah. until the time we go home. We're learning. Amen. Yes. Don't see yourself as a loser. Don't see yourself as, well, I don't know. See yourself, I'm a learner. Amen. I'm learning the things of God on a daily basis. And we never arrive. So we're always learning yes. good yes. things about the Word of God, about Him. Amen. So also by sin, I want to say by sin is God hates sin. I'm getting way ahead of myself. God hates sin, but He loves the sin. Yes, He does. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. So He said Jesus sacrificed His Son for us. So remember, you've made it and you've accepted Jesus, your Lord and Savior. But there's people out there that have not yet done this. The Word of God is going to set them free, but you have to go and share with him. Yes. Amen. Amen. The same Jesus died for you, died for them. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> I'm going to share something with you that uh, we need to do on a daily basis. Go to the next slide. <laughs> well, this is good. Don't face the day until you have faced God in prayer. Amen. On a daily basis, spend time with him. We need all the strength we can get. Yes. We need to get our minds right. Bible says to feed your spirit the word of God. Renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. And get ourselves right because the giants are waiting for you. Yeah. The world is waiting for you. And if you're not ready and if you're not prepared, they're going to have you. Yes, they are. Amen. They're going to have you and you're going to be walking in a defeated life. You're going to be walking in a defeated day all day long. Say, wow, you know, if you ever think about, you know, I wish I could start this day over. Mm. Wish I could have spent time, you but you know <laughs> that's okay because at any time you can just stop and say, "Lord, I need you right now." Amen. Amen. Anybody been there? This is besides mm. Pastor. <laughs> Lord, I need you right now. <laughs> I need your strength. I need you, and uh, we need we need to do this on a daily basis. Before you face a day, face God in prayer. Amen. Mm. Go to the next one. These are good. God is greater than the burden you are carrying. Cast. Your burden upon the Lord, and He will sustain you. Yes. Amen. Psalms 55, 22. Yes. There's a lot of burdens out there, you know, but He says, cast them all on Him. Uh -huh. Amen. We're going to find out a few more things in a few minutes. Um, let me read this to you right now. <laughs> God tells us to cast all the cares on Him. <laughs> cast. I'll give you a, a couple of definitions of the word cast. Mm. It's to shed or to throw with force. Uh -huh. Amen. And he says, cast it on me. <laughs> he don't want you to have it. He says, cast it on me. Mm -hmm. Another definition goes like this. It says, throw something forcefully in a specified or specific direction. Mm. He says, throw it at me. Give it to me. Mm. He's already paid it. Yes, amen. Christ has been paid. He says, I took it all for you. So why are you carrying it? You don't have to carry it anymore. But he says, cast it on me. Cast your burdens on Jesus. Amen. Amen. And praise him. You did a great job. And uh, uh, I enjoyed the song. <laughs> I was in there doing the motions. You know? <laughs> it says, higher. Lift him higher. Amen. Life brings circumstances, conditions, situations, and causes. It causes anxieties, worries, cares, concerns, fears. Panics, problems, and troubles, and on and on and on. But you already know this. Mm. Amen. So we need to know before we start the day mm -hmm. is spend time with Him yes. and cast it on Him. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> cast on all the cares on Him. Cast me involves action on my part. Mm -hmm. I choose my choice is to care, cast all those things on Him. So you have to do that for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, don't expect God. What God knows what I have. God knows what I'm thinking. So he can just take it from me. He says, you, you have a choice. You cast it on him. Yeah. You give it to him. 
Oh, hallelujah. The emotions can run very high and paralyzed uh, at some at some point can get paralyzed. Mm -hmm. Lose control, lose strength. Yeah. Can even do <laughs> carry in some of these situations, these extra cares, these extra weights. Yeah. Amen. So go to the next one. He says to cast it all on him. Yeah. Cast your burdens on the Lord and he will what? Sustain you. He will never permit, permit the, righteous the righteous to be moved. Amen. If you don't have these Go to them, find them, and highlight them, Amen. underline them, and personalize them. Amen? Amen. Psalms 55, 22. He says, let go and let God. How many times have you heard that? I heard Pastor Pat say this morning. <laughs> let go and let God. When he says cast, he says, let it go. Cast it on me. Let go and let God. He has told you to put it down. Put it down. Don't pick it up again. <laughs> Don't take it back. The sin, the cares, the problems, whatever it is, just let it go and let God. And uh, sin is sin. You say, well, it's just a little sin. Maybe God won't punish me as much. <laughs> There's no thing, no such thing as a big sin or a little sin. Right. Sin yeah. is sin. Yes. Amen. And we, we, I said I was getting ahead of myself. God hates sin. He sacrificed His Son for it yes. to get His back, to win His back. Amen. But sin is sin. There's no degrees about, well, small or big. He just hates sin, but he loves to sin. Yes. Amen. Go ahead. Oh, uh, let me see. Go to slide 11. It says what? Lord, I bring you my burdens. Mm -hmm. You know my situation. Oops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Cast all your worries on him because he cares for you. Amen. Uh -huh. That's what he wants us to do. Okay. Cast it all on him because he cares for us. Amen. Whew. Sin. Uh, slide number six. And we read this. This is your handout. Huh. Mm, is that six? Yes. Um, it's uh, the one that talks about sin. about sin. Very simple. Sin will take you further than you want to go. Sin will keep you longer than you want to stay. And sin will cost you more than you want to pay. Amen. Amen. So get that down and know about it. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2 says this. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded with such a cloud of witnesses who by faith have testified to the truth of God, absolutely faith faithfulness, Strip off every weight mm -hmm. and the sin which so easily and cleverly entangles us. And there's different situations. Whatever sin bothers you may not mess with me, but you know, whatever the situation may be, let us run with endurance and determination in the race that is set before us. So press on, looking away from all that will distract you. Amen. There's Amen. a lot of things out there. And if you don't get yourself right, you don't get your mind right, you don't get yourself right with God, these things will distract you. That's right. Amen. Amen. They won't bother you. If they do bother you, you know that you have Him and you have His strength. Amen. Amen. And you know how to deal with it once you have spent time with Him. Focusing our eyes on who? Jesus, who is the yeah. author and finisher and protector of our faith. The first incentive of our beliefs and the one who brings our faith to maturity who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before before him endured the cross disregarding the shame and he was put to shame yes. and set down at the right hand and the throne of God revealing his dignity his authority interceding for us and the completion of his work what is Work was done. He says, I'm going. I'll leave the Holy Spirit. I'm sending the Holy Spirit. But I'm going. When he went up, mm -hmm. he said at the right hand of the Father, a place of authority for him. And he intercedes for us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Lord. <coughs> Hallelujah. He says, I'm sending the Holy Spirit. He also says in Hebrews 13, 5, it says that I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. So if you ever feel lonely, <laughs> talk to him. He's there. Yes. And he's always there for you. Amen. Say, Father, I need you. I need you now. I need your help. He's there for you. 
Amen. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. We walk away, he never walks away from us. Amen. Right. He says, he even says this in Psalms 23 and 4. He says, uh, slide number 8, please. Um, Psalms uh, 23 and 4 says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? He is with us. He is with us. Says, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. He is with you. He gives you peace. Amen. You have the peace knowing that God is with you. You know, just like David, when he ran against Goliath, he knew who was backing him. He knew God was with him. Amen. Amen. All them guys were talking about fighting. Mm -hmm. But then when not one, one of them said anything about God. That's right. Until David showed up. Mm -hmm. David said, where's your God? Mm -hmm. He says, my God is with me. Mm -hmm. I know he says, greater is he that's in me than he, this giant out there. Mm -hmm. Who does he think he is? He can't, you know, whatever problem is facing you mm -hmm. on a daily basis or whatever. Your God is bigger than any problem. Yes, you yeah. know, don't magnify your problem and make your problem bigger than your God. Don't let your problem talk to you. Uh -huh. You talk to it. Say, wait a minute. You don't talk to me. I'm taking authority right now. Yes, Whatever yeah. you're facing, you know, I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> Whatever you're facing right now, God is bigger yes. than any problem you have. Right. Cast it on Him. Give it to Him. Amen. Amen. So he's already paid for it. Psalms 118 uh, and 6 says, The Lord is on my side. Uh -huh. I went up here. <laughs> what can man do to me? It's the same thing uh, uh, David was saying. Yes. God is on my side. Amen. That's it. Saul says, Here, you, where, where are my armor? Mm -hmm. David says, I'm no. going to use what God gave me. Yes. You use what God gave you. He Amen. gave you his word. Yes, he did. <laughs> Amen. He says, I gave you authority. Use my word. He says, Great is he that sent me. I'm with you. I'll never leave you and forsake you. <laughs> David is already built up. He says, wait a minute. And he runs to the problem. He mm. says, my God is with me. I know who's backing me. Mm -hmm. I have no problems. <laughs> Your size, whatever, it doesn't make no difference. Amen. Great is he that sent me. Amen. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run. And you're coming down. He says, I'm going to cut your head off. Yep. <laughs> so whatever it is that's bothering you, you, you cut it down. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hebrews 13, 6 also says, So we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. Uh -huh. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Mm -hmm. So he wants us to cast all those cares yes. on him. It's already paid. It's a done yeah. deal. Yes, it is. Price is paid. Why are you still being troubled with this? Uh -huh. And you know what? If you decide to stay there and not cast it on him, you can have this problem for forever. Yeah. But you got to give it away. Yes. See, you got to use the word. Yes. And confess the word. Amen. 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 Praise God. Matthew 6, 33. What I want to do on a daily basis is get my priorities right. Uh-huh. Matthew 6, 33. But see, first the kingdom of God is righteousness. Yes. And all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. <laughs> so, I'm going to spend time with him. Get my priorities straight for the day. Mm -hmm. For the day. What's the plan of the day? Mm-hmm. Spend time with him first. Amen. Get myself built up. Cast all my worries on him. Cast all my cares on him before I, I go out. Once I go out, I'm strong. I'm strong in him. You know, <laughs> I'm looking me for a devil. <laughs> 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 he, he better be running. <laughs> yeah. Amen. They used to have me on the run. Now you put him on the run. Yes, Amen. that's right. Praise yeah. God. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Uh, let me see slide two, please. Thank you, Lord. Is that, is that two? Yes. Okay, so spend time with him. Start off in prayer. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Prayer allows the believer to enter into God's presence, uh -huh. carrying our cares to lead yes. them there. Don't take them back. <laughs> the Holy Spirit will help our inabilities. Amen. Yes, amen. So glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for all mm -hmm. your help. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He gives happiness and joy and peace to overcoming circumstances. Yes. Jesus overcame all uh, situations. Yes, he did. So we can do the same thing. Amen. See yourself an overcomer. See yourself a winner. Yes. See yourself the way he sees you. Yes. Amen. He sees you an overcomer. He yes, sees you a winner. Yes. He sees you a champion. He didn't put you on this mission to lose. 
Right. He put you on this mission because he says, I've approved you, I've called you, and I know you've got what it takes mm -hmm. to make it through. He doesn't want us to camp out by listening to wrong things or listening to the wrong people or the wrong uh, uh, things that try to distract you or hold you back. He says, you know, you got to press on, press on. You know, renew yourself, renew your mind, feed your spirit the word, and crucify the flesh. Those things will try to keep you down. The only thing that can defeat you is yourself. Yeah. So when you see yourself in the mirror, it says, hey, I'm a child of God. God yeah, sees me yeah. a champion, I'm a champion, and I can do all things through him. Yeah. And press on. It's not time to camp out. Romans 8, uh, 37 says this, but in all these cares, troubles, or problems and situations, we have complete victory. We are more than conquerors through Christ Amen. Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. We have more power and victory in all these difficulties. Yes. Amen. He wants us to press on through. Amen. John 1, uh, excuse me, 1 John 4, 4. You are from God, little children. You have overcome these cares, problems, yes. these burdens, because yes. greater is he that is in you than he that yes. is in the world. Amen. 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 Let me see number three, please. God is bigger than any cares, any problems. Yeah. I know we just said these, but God is greater. Yes, He is. And the burdens you are carrying. That's Amen. right. Cast it, your burdens upon Him, and He will sustain you. Amen. He is your strength. Yes. He is your everything. Yes, He is. Amen. Praise God. This is this is good. I mean, we just gotta get it. We just gotta do it. We gotta be yeah. uh, not only hearers of the word, but we gotta be doers Doors. of the word. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Go to the next one. Okay, next. There we go. Lord, I bring to you my burdens. You know my situation. Mm -hmm. And you know I can make it. I can't make it without you. Yes. Comfort my heart. Give me the strength. And help me to carry on. Yeah. This is spending time with him. Lord, I can't do it without you. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you yeah. get away from him, you think you can make it on your own. And you forget about him. But we can't make it without him. That's right. We need to spend time with him. Says, yes. Lord, I, need you. I need your strength. Amen. I need your help. I can't make it without you. That's Amen. Right. Praise God. Whew. Glory. God wants us to cast all those anxieties and cares upon him. He doesn't want us to be anxious or worried about anything. Uh, Psalms 37, 5. Cast your uh, ways over to the Lord. Trust in him also. And he will do it. Number five, please. Thank you, Lord. That's five. That's five. That's five? Mm -hmm. uh, let, let me see the next one. Okay, this is it. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. Amen. So you have plans. You spend time with Him. He's got great plans for you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah 29 11 says, He says, great plans for you. Yeah. This is Proverbs 16 3. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will sustain. He will establish your plans. Amen. So you spend time with Him. And, uh, and let him know, Lord, this is my plan. This is what you got for me. Uh -huh. And uh, this is my plans. Amen. Commit it to him. Amen. Proverbs 16, 3. Man, that's good. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. First John 1, 5, 5, 5 says this. Who is one who overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Amen. Yes. God cares for you and will provide for you. He is Jehovah Jireh. Yes. The Lord will provide. He is my provider. Uh, slide 12, please. Set your priorities right and cast all cares on Him on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank the Lord. Rest. Oh, wow. I don't know if you've ever read this, but oh. I, want you, I want you to see this. Rest. If you never saw it this way, rest is a weapon given to us by God. The enemy hates the enemy hates it because he wants to keep you stressed and occupied. But you know when you have rest, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, he gives me rest. Yes. He gives me rest. Amen. And the enemy don't want to see you mm -hmm. have be restful. Because he wants to see you stressed and occupied. Amen. Uh -huh. So you gotta be careful. Yeah. Go to the next one. Jehovah. Who is Jehovah? He's bigger than your past, your pain, your hate, your anger, your doubt, your fear, your shame, your anxieties, your scars, 
your loneliness, your depression. Mm -hmm. says, throw your burdens on Jehovah. Yes. He will sustain you. Will sustain. Never will he allow the righteous to fall. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Amen. Psalms 55, 22. Mm -hmm. you mark that down. Amen. Amen. You mark that down. And, and uh, the other one was uh, 1 Peter 5, 7. Uh -huh. yes. Amen. Casting all those cares on him. He wants you to be in control and not out of control. That's Amen. right. Amen. Speak to those cares. Speak to those mountains. Don't let them talk to you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And not only that, but he says you can do all things through, yes, Christ, through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. 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 Praise God. <laughs> you got to take this for action. One of my best uh, scriptures, I'll read it to you right now. <laughs> Philippians 4, 6, and 6 mm -hmm. right? He says, and you can put your name here. Jose. <laughs> says, Jose, don't worry about anything. Mm -hmm. Don't be anxious about nothing. Instead, pray about everything. Mm -hmm. Tell God what you need. And yeah. thank Him for all He's done. Amen. Verse 7 says, and this is the uh, New Living Translation. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything yeah. we can understand. His peace will guard your heart Amen. and mind. As, and, as you live in Christ Jesus. Amen. Verse 8 says, And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true mm -hmm. and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent yes. and worthy of praise. Amen. This is what he wants us to do. Renew your mind and then think about these things. Uh -huh. Cast it all on him. Give it all to him. And then think on these things that are Amen. Things that are honorable, true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, admirable. Think on these things that are excellent and worthy of praise. So God wants us to cast it all on Him, give it all on Him. He doesn't want us to be anxious about anything. Mm -hmm. Give it all, give it all, give it all. Praise God. How do you Amen. I love it. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. One more. Let's see. Philippians uh, 3, uh, 12 to 14. I don't mean that I am actually what God wants me to be. I have not yet reached the goal. Mm -hmm. You haven't reached your goal. We're still on a mission. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we're pressing to, to uh, where he wants us to be. Amen. But I continue trying to reach it and make it mine. That's what Christ Jesus wants me to do. It is the reason he made me his. Brothers and sisters, I don't know. But I still have a long ways to go. And there's one thing I do. Forget what is past mm -hmm. and try as hard as I can to reach the goal before me. Right. I keep yeah. running towards the finish line to get mm -hmm. the price that is mine. Because God has called me through Christ Jesus mm -hmm. to live up to live, uh, to live up there in heaven. Amen. Mm -hmm. So uh, slides 13 and 14 please. Well 13. That's 13. Runners. That's 13. Go to the next one. Okay. <laughs> Runners have a special way of preparing themselves for a race or the job. They prepare themselves by taking off the weights, putting on some light clothes, some light shoes, well rested. <laughs> Don't overload, overeat, or over tire yourselves. Mm -hmm. Stay hydrated. Give it all you've got and press on. The finish line is coming. The finish line. Is there? Yeah. Amen. It says cast your burdens on the uh, on the Lord, and He will sustain you. Amen. It says don't carry around your way your worries. God is stronger than you are. Mm -hmm. If He's already told you to give it away, don't uh, carry it anymore. And I know Miss D will agree with this, but every truck driver and, <laughs> and every aircraft well, I've worked on aircraft for 25 years retired. They have what is called a weight and balance book. And every shipment has to be, every aircraft or every truck has a weight and balance. And that weight is always has to be just right mm -hmm. for whatever ship, whatever shipment you have. Mm -hmm. Going cross country, all the way, every state has way stations. Keep mm -hmm. your cargo's weight and balance to complete your trip. Mm -hmm. So we need to keep ourselves our weight and balance and as we go in our walk with Amen. the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Give it all to Him. Don't carry all these extra weights that, he, that you want to carry. Mm -hmm. You don't just don't just give a few. 
You give it all. Mm -hmm. Get the weights off. Amen. He doesn't want us to have those weights. Amen. Mm -hmm. He wants us to be lights mm -hmm. and give it all to Him. As believers, we must daily start our day by what I said to Matthew 6.33 mm -hmm. and 1 Peter 5.7 yes. 5, and Psalms 5.22. What? Mm -hmm. Set your priorities. Seek Him first. Yes. And then cast all these cares, all these worries Amen. on Him. It's not for you to carry. You know, when you're worrying about yesterday, it's not helping you today. Mm -hmm. Today's got enough worries of itself. That's it. So why overload yourself? That's Says, it. Lord, I need, I need my mind to be clear. Mm -hmm. Because I want to hear what you have for me. Mm -hmm. you got a mission for me today. What's the plan for today? Amen. And Praise if He God. wants you to talk, talk to somebody, minister to somebody, your mind is too preoccupied with the past. Mm. Or maybe your mind is too preoccupied with, with the future. Mm. And you're not even focused on what today is. Yeah. And what God wants you to accomplish on today. Amen. So we need to get ourselves just right. Set your priorities right. Today Amen. is the day the Lord has made up. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. And yes. Lord, I'm setting my priorities right now. Yeah. On, on you. Thank and you I give you all these cares. I just... Renew my mind to the Word of God. Amen. Amen. And release it. Give it all to Him. Amen. Glory to us. Amen. Give it all to Him. <laughs> Seek Him first and cast all these cares extra weight on the Lord. Amen. Doing this allows us to complete our daily walk, our daily race with Him. Amen. 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 If, if God is for us, who can be against us? Yeah. Amen. Time. We can accomplish. We can accomplish all these things. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. So God is telling us, church, to do this. We mm -hmm. must cast it on Him. Amen. And cast is to sin. Cast is to throw with force. Mm -hmm. You know when He tells us to cast out devils, it's not a cheerful thing. He says, cast it out. You got to drive them out mm -hmm. because they don't want to leave. That's right. You got to drive them out. That's it. Amen. So he reminds us over and over mm -hmm. several scriptures. Yeah. Cast it on me. Yeah. Don't carry what you're not supposed to. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to run this race and I want you to be focused on me. You want, I want you to be light. I don't want you to be carrying weights of mm -hmm. yesterday or weights Amen. of the future. I want yes. you just to run the race for today. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Many people uh, still are worrying champions, you know, so uh, <laughs> they got to give it up to him. We must learn to cast it and give it all to him. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Once we leave them, don't take them back. God right. knows what to do with them. Amen. Amen. Praise <laughs> God. He doesn't need our help. Mm. Just obey him, church. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's all. You know, he just wants us to obey him. His truth is going to set us free. Yes. So we have to be obedient and releasing it and cast it on Him. Yes. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Praise God. God. You have uh, received this. Yes. Uh, yes. Something that we need to uh, do on a daily basis, you know, yes. is, is just give it to Him. You Amen. know, because by the end of the day, you're so overloaded, you know, kind of like these computers. You know, you see, you're so overloaded, uh, you can't think straight, you're tired, you're <laughs> overwhelmed. I said, wait a minute, I don't have to be carrying this. Wait a minute, I don't have to be worrying about this. I don't have to carry those things. Just give it to him and just release it and feel light again. It says, oh, praise God, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. So praise God. And those of you that are watching, if you've never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, now's the time. You know, give it all to him. Say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. Yes. I invite you to come and be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. If Amen. you do that, you're born again. All you need to do is get yourself in a Bible-based church where you can go and start growing in the things of God. Amen. Amen. Start growing in the Word of God. Amen. Yes. Praise God and start studying to show yourself yes. approved unto Him. So praise God and encourage you to do that. Amen. Praise God and welcome you to the kingdom of God. If you're hurting, just touch yourself in that area where you're hurting. Amen. And yes. just say, by Jesus' stripes I'm healed. Yes. Say, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Yes. By His stripes you're healed. He paid the price. So, Father, we just thank you for all those that are watching right now, all those that are listening, that are hurting, whatever that situation is, Lord. Yes. I just thank you, Father, that by your stripes, by Jesus' stripes, they are healed right yes. now. I command that sickness to leave right now in yes. Jesus' name. I command that hurt to go or yes. whatever lack there is, Father God. Yes. I thank you, Father, that you're their provider, Lord. 
Thank yes. you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We is finished.